What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Elkhart Forest River Dealer Expo in Elkhart, Indiana. This is where dealers come to pick out their inventory and the new products that they want to carry. In front of me, we have an absolutely unique fifth wheel and it was kind of hard to find because they have tents everywhere. They got a bunch of different things going on, but this is a Cedar Creek 25th and the model number on this one is the 300 mud now this thing's going to blow you away because it has an entirely different floor plan than you've probably ever seen in a fifth wheel especially a large one full profile roof let's take a closer look at this one hang tight i'll be right back all right so the numbers aren't on this unit yet because it's so new so i can't really tell you what they are but real quick you know what the gbwr on this unit is Okay. Would it be safe to say probably around sixteen, eighteen thousand? No, wait. No, GVWR. GVWR. It's gonna be. It's gonna be closer to eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Okay. Okay. So from a weight perspective, the sticker's not on this unit yet, but you said it's gonna be around eighteen thousand fully loaded GVWR, which means probably around what twenty five hundred pounds cargo capacity ish. Probably closer to three thousand. Okay. So yep, definitely. One ton towable. I wouldn't put this behind a three quarter ton or a half ton. This is a huge beast. Full profile, wide body? Uh, no, no. Wide. Not wide body, okay. Okay, so we're gonna hop inside because this is a very special unit with what you guys have done with this floor plan. So I appreciate it, thank yep. you. All right, so this is a 380 mud. Has the Moride safety rail right here. So they call it mud because you actually have a mud room right here. Check this out. Now I want to hear from you all in the comments section is a mud room something that you find appealing to an RV. Now I know it looks cool. You have a place to hang your coat. You have a place to put your boots and your shoes. If you're covered in snow or mud, you have a great place to bring that in so you're not carrying it into the rest of the unit. But I'd love to know your feedback and I'm sure they would love to know your feedback as well. You got a great place here as well to hang stuff. I mean, this is just a really cool space. You have your controls right here. You also have your solar power controller or your solar, you also have your solar charge controller. It's a 30 amp, go power. You have a step up, beautiful step. And then as you step into this unit, you have a full dinette. You have an ottoman right here that can be moved around. So you can actually relocate this somewhere else if you want to. You have theater seating right here. There's no sofa in this unit, but it's actually a really nice interior. To be honest with you, it feels kind of toy hauler-ish simply because you only have the theater seating, right? There's not any other type of sofa. So this is a really good couples unit, but there's a hidden feature that make it far more than just a couples unit. I love the island right here. Love the sprayer. Really nice farm style sink here. Stainless steel single basin. The cabinetry is beautiful, soft closing, beautiful handles. I believe these are probably soft closing as well. So they're doing both soft closing cabinets and drawers. Solid surface countertop. I love seeing drawers in an RV. Plenty of prep space on each side of the really nice three burner stove. Now, this is kind of cool. So they're using a different material here than here. And the contrasting effect that has looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. You have cabinetry up here. And then you have more cabinetry on that side and above. Plus you have, I don't know if this is a convection microwave. It doesn't look like it is, but you have a full size residential microwave in here. Beautiful TV area. This to me looks like it moves out of the way. Now I don't know how it moves out of the way. I might have to ask somebody, but it sure looks like there is something that's behind here because of how they have it framed off. I'll try to figure this out in a second. Okay, so I found it. There's a latch under here, and once that latch is pulled out, check this out. That is really cool. There is a ton of storage back here. You have some pull-out drawers right here as well. Just a really cool spot. I mean, that is a really innovative way to store things. I've seen this before, but I haven't seen it executed from a, a shelving and a drawer perspective quite as well as I've seen in this unit. All right, so we're gonna go up into the bedroom. Got some more storage right here, all soft closing. I love the step transitions and the color changes. So this is the bedroom, king size bed, sliding door right here, absolutely gorgeous inside. I think you might have three ACs, but I'll check. I see one there, one here, but there may be one up front. You have a big window right here. You have your TV mounted on the wall. Tons and tons of wardrobe space in here. I mean, let me back up so you can see. You just have a tremendous amount of wardrobe space in here. Really, really nice. This is a great, great bedroom setup. Now, what's even more special about this unit is the bathroom. So check this out. You have an absolutely beautiful bathroom space in here. 
Now, what I love about it is the fact that they've continued the solid, the solid surface countertop into the bathroom and it's really high end looking and it matches what you see around the stove. A lot of cabinetry in here, absolutely beautiful colors and tones, lots of drawers. This right here, not soft closing drawers in the bathroom, but this right here feels like a high end residential spa bathroom. I mean, it is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Over here, you have your foot flush toilet, toilet paper holder. You have some uh, storage here for your towels and toiletries. On this side, check out this shower. This is a beautiful shower, multi-head sprayer. You have the seat, and that's a different seat than what you typically see. You have this really cool drain that is sideways versus the typical one at the end. And then you have this LED light strip up here as well. And it may even change color, I'm not sure, but it is beautiful. In here, you're gonna have a spot for a stackable washer and dryer, or you can use it to hang clothes. Plus you have some storage above. This bathroom is, you know, probably one of my favorite bathrooms that I've seen in an RV, a fifth wheel in a long time. It looks beautiful. Okay, let's work our way to the hidden space that you haven't seen. So you saw the hidden space behind the TV, but look what they've done in here. It's not hidden, it's just I haven't shown it to you yet. First of all, you have your Furion refrigerator in here, 12 volt refrigerator. We're gonna go up the stairs into the front living room space. Now this folds into a sofa, but when it's not in a sofa, it's in a bed, you essentially have a second living room with a sofa in here as well. You could use this as an office space. You could use this as another living room space. This is in a slide out. Just absolutely gorgeous what they've done in here. And then you have a half bath. So you get a bath and a half in two full bedrooms in this unit with two living room spaces. I mean, when have you ever seen that in an RV? This is crazy how they've executed on this and they've done so well. They got storage all around here. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this. And this is also a sleeping area. So if you fold this back up into a sofa, you can actually deploy this into a bed and you have a second sleeping area there while still maintaining your sofa over here. It's just crazy what they've done with the space in here. This is really, really cool. And it's definitely innovative. This one may actually get a sticker. What do you guys think? So I have to say that I'm really shocked with what I've seen because I've been around to a lot of the displays and there's a lot of innovation going on, but the innovation in this one definitely is a little bit um, more polarizing than what I've seen before. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.